and welcome to this video in which I'll be reacting to the songs from Supernova 2024 which is Latvia's national selection for Eurovision. I have few expectations. The Supernova songs were released on the same day as the Luxembourg Eurovision Song Contest songs so I will be listening to them both today and I've heard more positive things about the Luxembourgish ones unfortunately for Latvia, but I'm still very excited. Latvia has had some pretty good songs for me. Eat Your Salad was my number two of 2022 and Aya ended 12th in my ranking. Right now maybe is even higher. Um, I do keep going back to that one and I don't necessarily go back to Samomishish Pava or something like that because it was the whole package, but as a song itself um, maybe it's a little bit higher for me. Now, two years that I've been actively following Eurovision, that has been pretty high up for me. Let's hope to carry that trend on. I don't think I've got much more to say right now, so I'll just listen to the 15 songs and get back to you with my thoughts. This isn't something that I usually do in my videos, but oh, I kind of regret not re recording my reactions uh, to, to each song right now. Um, I thought before it's a waste of space and um, I won't edit it anyway, so what's the point? But um, <laughs> Uh, I've just listened to For The Show by Alex Silvers. Is he going for some kind of record of having the most S's in the artist's name? I don't know. But I I don't know that the song is that good. Can't judge that entirely on first listen. But the lyrics are so fun. I don't think it's an entirely original concept. But in Eurovision maybe? Uh, to the best of my knowledge. And it made my imagination go wild with ideas for the staging. If, if, it, if it delivers on that, could very well... I mean, if it really delivers on that, could very well become my number one of Eurovision 2024 in uh, overall. Um, I have only listened to two songs because I'm listening to them uh, in the order that's on their official playlist from Supernova. So maybe there's something else great in here. But so far, it's definitely my number one uh, for, for Supernova 2024. And as I said, if the staging delivers what I'm imagining it will deliver, could become my number one of entire season of Eurovision 2024. It was building up to the first chorus. I just went, oh, <laughs> meaning sort of like, did I just hear what I heard? That's so cool. As I said, I don't think it's the first time to ever do this, but in Eurovision, to the best of my knowledge, or memory, yes, so I'm very excited about that one, but I'll keep listening to the other 13 songs though. Well, that was an experience, no please stay there, I wanted to talk about the cat song with you there, please please please, the cat's song, Robin didn't have any particular reaction to the cat's song, which didn't help my confusion to be honest, if she'd gone crazy I might have, um, considered what did they put even in the song uh, but um, she didn't really react. She's been sat next to me the whole time listening to the songs and now that I've turned the camera on she's gone. I <laughs> don't know what to think. I love Latvia's commitment to confusing me. This group of songs really puts the selection in national selection but also surprisingly there were two in my opinion Christian inspired songs um, or just outright Christian songs, I don't know if they want to be called Christian songs, which is why I'm putting the word inspired in there, because that's what they sound like to me. Out of sheer confusion and weirdness of the songs, I've decided to discuss my entire top 15. But to be honest, I don't even know which of these songs I, wa I, I, I want or would send to Eurovision. No, I do. I do. It's for the show. I've forgotten about it because it was so long ago compared to all the other songs. I definitely want for the show for Eurovision. I guess that's a spoiler. I'll try and be quick about this. In the 15th spot, I've put Jar of King's Wildfire. It did not vibe with me. It didn't feel like a cohesive song to me. I should have liked it because I like rock, but this one just didn't work for me. In the 14th spot, I've got Al from Agnes Rakowska. The comments were split about how she is as a person slash Eurovision performer, but I tried not to take that into account. However, the song itself didn't really like. I feel like those effects and auto-tune and stuff were a bit too much for me. It just doesn't work as a package for my taste. In the 13th spot I've got Heaven's Raining Down On Me from Patrizia Spale. It was fine. This one uh, isn't really 
to out there in any kind of way and it just gets forgotten in the crowd i feel like in the 12th spot i've got rock and roll supernova by edvard srajdinsh i wonder if that song title is meant to be search engine optimized so that if you search for the Latvian national final and rock and roll songs, you always find this for perpetuity or something. But it just confuses me. Maybe it has nothing to do with the national final being called Supernova, but then how could you not know that? Submitting a song to that national final? Weirdly old fashioned in a way that doesn't work for me. To me, it sounds like it's emulating the sound of 50s rock, but I am not a fan of how it's been emulated. In the 11th spot, just outside of my top 10 is Outsider by Ecto. I did go back and forth a bit about whether this is like genius or just noise. I've landed on, I think this is hyper pop. And even though generally speaking, I'm pretty young, I wonder if I'm too old for hyper pop. Sometimes there's just too many noises at once for me and I, I can't hear all the lyrics, uh, which I don't need to do, but I'd have liked to in this song. In my 10th spot, I've got mine from Ave. It was fine. It was very, very, Average-ish. I know it's number one currently on my average scoreboard. I apologize. It's not my style of music It's a bit of a bop but with a bit of angst which I did enjoy But then the package as a whole was a bit too generic for me And there were a couple of weak moments towards the middle of the song that disappointed me But overall it's definitely a bop and then I've written down the second chorus gets it I felt myself getting into the song properly then and maybe if I'd listened to the songs again it would have gone up higher but as it stands it's got in that 10th spot. In the ninth spot I've got Hollow by Dons. The drums fall flat for me a bit and the song I feel like shouldn't work for me but for some reason it, it does. I can't quite put it into words. The lyrics I think are what largely drew me in and then the sound was matching and a sound that I don't mind but then once I think about the lyrics some more I don't really like them just on like the initial first hit of lyrics to brain i do and then uh, as soon as my brain processes what actually happened no i'm confused but i enjoyed it fair enough uh, and if it goes to your vision i won't be mad same with mine uh, i'd live then in the eighth spot i've got amsterdam by b slash h not very offensive either it's easy listening but i wonder if it will also get forgotten in the crowd and it's a little bit repetitive but i did enjoy it well enough. In the seventh spot, I've got Nadjustovado from Funkimbiz. I understood way more of it than I should have done, and I'm wondering if it's definitely Latvian or not. I presume so. Got an intriguing start, and it's funky. Not not funky, but it's in the region. Well, funky also, but in the region of funk anyway. I did slightly zone out though, which isn't what you'd want from a captivating song. In the sixth spot, I've got the song that possibly confuse me the most but i don't really know what to think about a lot of these anyway in the sixth spot i've got the cat song by katrina Supalo. as i briefly mentioned uh, robin didn't really have any reaction she's now sat right here right in front of the camera if i pull it up maybe you can no you can't see the tail just about she's listening to me ramble about these songs there you go there's a bit of the tail and she's also knocking into the camera the verses i found to be pretty gruesome not in like a, a gory way just in a ew that really don't know if I like that and then the chorus though I loved not necessarily the lyrics still quite I mean I love a cat theme but the chorus sounded really cool to me and I honestly do not know how to judge this song because I have two very different emotions about the verses and the chorus and the whole concept is curious in the fifth spot I've got love is a language by Sasha Sill this to me feels like maybe the most standard song of this bunch and uh, I think it could be good for Eurovision. It doesn't stand out loads but I really enjoyed it and it's a nice ballad. Some of the lyrics I liked. I feel like it's a very nice package as a whole. This one doesn't confuse me. In the fourth spot I've got TikTok by Saint Levicha. I do not know how to express my confusion about this song. The message I believe I can get behind if I've understood it. The delivery though is interesting. I don't know if it's entirely with the rhythm of the music and it feels like it's delivered in about six different genres over the course of that three minute song. Maybe it's so genius that it's just reflecting the scrolling and constantly coming across new content if I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt or, 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 or maybe not even of the doubt. Maybe it truly is this genius which is why I've put it fairly high up 
but because I'm not sure it can't go any higher. Message generally I agree with and um, would also like to do something about. So I understand the need to write a song about it. I'm interested to see how this looks on stage and if it manages to do anything in terms of getting points at the national final. In the third spot I've got Kur by Vestulish. Did Robin just move the camera angle? I don't know. I thought I wasn't gonna like this when it started. And then it switched genre like twice. Uh, there was like some kind of messy garage rock feel. I didn't really write down much about it because I just listened to it, enjoyed it, and thought it's a nice song that I enjoyed the sound of at the end. In my second spot, I've got Mindbreaker by I do not know how to speak Latvian. Papira Lidmashinas. Lidmashinas. I enjoyed this one as a package. There were moments or bits of sounds that aren't quite up my alley, but as a package it's fine the guitar at the end in the chorusy melody bit is very cool i'm a little bit confused how it got to my number two spot to be honest but it, it, it did i just like the music and the inserted telephone bits which is maybe one of the guys i've only looked at the photo so i don't know that would be a bit of a funny moment on stage which would make the song slightly more memorable um because it doesn't have the intense moments of confusions that some of the other songs do but i think a la 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 chorus is a bit dumb maybe there's some kind of genius reasoning that i'm not getting why this song needs a la 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 chorus but in general i'm against la 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 na 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 choruses cha 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 made sense don't get me wrong but a la 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 chorus eh, irks me a bit anyway my number one <laughs> as previously spoiled multiple times is for the show by alex silvers if it doesn't deliver on the staging it probably won't stay my number one but it got my imagination running off to the hills about what could happen with this staging and to me the concept is fairly original i don't know that it's the first time i've heard a song about the listener not listening to the song and just listening to the melody not the lyrics i thought it's a good opener then I wrote, ooh yes, meta lyrics, chills, it's a good trashy beat. So many staging ideas, please deliver. Those are my notes about the song. Um, as I said, wish I had recorded my reaction to it, because if the staging does deliver, genuinely could become my number one. If all of these ideas that are running through my imagination do show up on stage, it, I think it would beat City Mall right now, so... That's high praise for a national final song that hasn't been chosen yet. But it's definitely by far my favourite of Supernova. As I've said, I've enjoyed listening to these songs. It really does put the selection in national selection. It was a very enjoyable way to spend the evening. I believe, if I've counted correctly, I have now listened to 200 national final songs across the last two and a half months-ish or so. Mostly across the last two months because Malta started really early. Plus Mon Amour from Slimar. I think the only thing that I haven't listened to in full is Festival Kengesh. I've only listened to snippets of the songs that weren't finalists, apart from the one which was number one in the app. Whatever I tried organising them, which wasn't a finalist. That's just a lot of songs, and maybe it's oversaturation that is making me so confused a lot about a lot of them. Or maybe confusion is a goal. Maybe Latvia is trying to stand out like that, because I yeah, well, brilliant doesn't quite stand out on first listen and maybe they're trying to avoid not qualifying for the seventh year in a row that is completely understandable to be honest i deserve to qualify uh that was a robbery the the two worst things that i know of to happen during eurovision weeks were latvia not getting through to the final and germany getting last place that was also undeserved i'm kind of curious to watch supernova now we'll see if i manage it because there's a lot happening <laughs> over the next few months. Alright, I'm gonna stop rambling. I need to listen to Luxembourgish songs today still. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one whenever that shows up in your feed. Bye! Which I'll be... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'll be. <laughs> Latvia. Um... Uh, um...